Yo, 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 everybody! Professor Generic B here with another episode of Redstone Academy. <laughs> this episode, we're gonna talk about the Redstone Torch. Uh, oh, there you go. And we're done. <laughs> uh, yeah, so a few things we need to know about the Redstone Torch. They're very versatile, they do many, many things. Um, first, they are a source of power. If you put a torch down on the ground, any redstone that's near it will get lit up just like that. You see? So, take it off. It's off. Put it back on. It's on. Very good to know. Uh, it also will invert the signal of any uh, block that it is on. So, for example, uh, here we have a, a block that can be powered. That's why it's red wool. Uh, you can stick a torch on the sides uh, or on the top, and you can see the signal's off, but these guys are on, so any signal that goes on will be on. And turn this on. It powers this block, which then inverts the signals on the torches, so then this will be off. This is uh, called a not gate or an inverter, uh, which basically just inverts the signal. That's why it's called an inverter. Uh, now the uh, this used to be used to transmit signals long ways before we had repeaters. Just so you know. Now here is a torch and sitting on a block, and we want to talk about. Remember before we talked about first degree power and second degree power. Well, here's a torch sitting on top of a block. The only block that gets first degree power from this torch is the one directly above it. Anything around it, now notice it doesn't power the one below it at all. So you can sit there and put blocks around nothing, right? And of course, just like before, any block that you place around this first degree block gets lit up. So this is all the second degree power. And then just right around the edges of the torch, that's second degree power as well. So you can just go like, right, hello? There we go. So that is the range that a torch will power something. Pretty nifty, right? See, nothing, 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 right? So let's talk about the properties of this and some useful applications. If you put them just one on top of each other, right, you can run wire vertically. And that's a, a very common use of, uh, of these torches. So as you can see, line goes in, this torch is on, which powers this block. This torch is inverted because the, the block is powered. Uh, so then this block is not powered, this turns on, etc. So watch this. You flip it, everything goes opposite because then now power is running through and the light goes off. Wink. Wink. Right? Easy peasy. Now, over here we mentioned that the torches can go on the top of the block or on the side of the block. So here's an example here. We've got a torch on the side. Notice it is not powering this block at all. The only block that gets first degree power with a torch on the side is the one, again, right above it. So you can put anything around it and Bob's your uncle. On the torch here, Again, it's just the ones that are right next to the torch, to the sides of the torch, and right below it. Those get second degree power. But again, the only one that gets first degree power is the block right above it. Here's something you need to keep in mind. And notice you put redstone right there and it glows because this block is receiving power, which powers that, right? If you try to put redstone dust right there, watch what happens. Right? And it burns out. The reason for this, and let me reset the torch there. The reason for this is the torch powers the block, which then, if I put uh, redstone there, it powers that, which powers the block underneath it, energizes it, which then turns this torch off, which then 
unpowers, depowers this block, which turns off the redstone, which then depowers this, which then, so it's like, right? So there are some applications for this, but it's pretty rare. Uh, usually you want to avoid this type of situation, okay? And finally, here's a, well, not finally, we still got a little bit more. Um, here's a practical use for redstone torches on the side of a block. You can use it for downward vertical wiring. Now it's not quite as compact as the one that goes vertically upwards, but it still works pretty well. Uh, if we got a lever or some kind of power source on this block, um, it will turn off this torch, which turns off this, uh, this dust, which will turn on this torch, which will turn on this dust, off, off, on, on, and then bleh, right? So if I flip it, it's on, off, on, off. Now before we go on, one quick little thing I want to talk about. Let's see, time set zero. Oh, gotta love 1.3. Uh, each torch gives a very slight delay, and that delay is called a tick. And I believe a tick is 1 20th of a second. And we'll talk about that a little bit later when we get into actual contraptions um, as to why we need to do that stuff. When we start talking about monostable circuits and, and you know different types of piston things, um, that's when timing comes into place. But I just want to let you know, you'll notice there's a delay. See how there's a delay? It's not automatic. And that's because for every torch that's on here, you get a one tick delay. So right now we have one, two, three, four. Four, uh, uh, four ticks. So just a fraction of a second it's taken. Just so you know. Now, another practical use of having a uh, torch on the side is to power things that are over on the side. Now watch, watch this right here. So you notice that this lamp is not lighting up and that's because it's not part of the uh, second degree range right this one will but not the one way out there now let's talk about a very interesting little uh, little tweak in this and that's pistons pistons will get powered if the if the block above it gets power so it's almost like its sensor additional sensor is right here on top right so watch this guy uh, it opens Isn't that crazy and so not only will that open but this one will as well see so you flip it uh flip it uh it's this torch is powering this one because this is within the second degree range of power but because this block is in the second degree range of power and the top of this piston is touching that block, that area, it powers as well. It, I don't know if that's considered a bug. It's been there forever. I like to consider it just a property of pistons. So then you can sit there and go all day long. Now, you may ask yourself, you may say, wait a minute, generic B. Why wouldn't I just do this? Put a piece of dust on top, got your signal or whatever, right? Because that works just fine. This is powering this block, energizing this block, which is first degree power, which powers this piston. It also powers this redstone dust, which then powers this, right? But here's the problem. Sometimes you want to have, you have to excuse my voice, I got a little bit of kind of a cold going on. If you do something like this, right, let's say you want to push more than one row of pistons, this isn't going to work. Watch what happens. It's just those guys. Because these get energized, but these don't. Because the, but, uh, the, the, but, duh, the dust is not pointing into the pistons like we talked about in the last episode. No problem. That's why we go with something like this. Put in a torch. I mean, put in a... Uh, uh, block. Let's throw in your second bit of somethings like that. Throw on two pieces of wool and like that, right? 
Oh, so we got a little bit of a tick. Talk about that in another episode. So now this will energize the block, which will also energize the redstone on top of it. So effectively, both of these blocks get energized when I flip the switch, which means both of these torches get energized, which means each one of these torches handle their little column of pistons. Just like that. Snazzy, huh? And then if you want to get a little more creative, let's say you want to do three, right? You can go... Let's see how we want to do this guy. Like so. And, huh, right? So then, all three of those guys. So it's really pretty limitless in what you can do with the almighty torch. Whoa, ho, ho. Now, of course, torches are also used in... RS nor latches, they're used in pulse limiters, they're used in bud switches, they're used in piston doors like we talked about and all sorts of other things. Uh, we're going to talk about those in another episode, but for the next one, we're going to talk about the repeater. Very, very, very powerful piece of redstone equipment. So until next time, take care, learn your redstone. I'll see you when I see you. Bye.